Hello there folks and welcome back to my video gaming channel. Today we are talking about the Sega CD game Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk, also known as AH3 Thunderstrike in the US, was released in 1993 and is a helical combat sim with intense mission based action from UK based developers Core Design, who also made the impressive Soul Star and Battle Corps on the Mega CD system. Thunderhawk was part of a handful of games that demonstrated the correct usage of the power that the Mega CD had by creating games better suited for it rather than crappy interactive movie style of games synonymous with the machine at that particular time. This game showed how the hardware should be used for games. The result was a game with highly impressive visuals, easily making it one of the best of the 16-bit era with brilliant gameplay to match. Although the console, and subsequently the game, had a limited audience, it quickly achieved critical acclaim and became one of the system's standout titles, selling around 300,000 copies. Since this release, the game has been resurrected twice for later generations of the consoles. In the game, the player flies a fictional AH-73M attack helicopter through a total of 48 mission sets in 10 different locations. We use strategy and tactics discussed in the briefing room to locate, intercept and destroy the enemy. The campaigns are themed around real events or activities in these areas, for example escorting UN convoy during the Bosnian War or fighting pirates in the South China Sea, and so on. A typical campaign consists of four or five missions. Each mission has a primary objective that must be completed to successfully complete the mission. There are other targets in each mission such as tanks and SAM launchers, but these are only used to help the player boost their score. The primary target is usually a major structure like an enemy base or a bridge. On some special missions, the rockets are replaced by a weapon that is critical to the success of that particular mission. Anyway, let's have a look at the game. Incoming bandit. Bank left. You're off course. Incoming bandit! Incoming bandit! Incoming missile!
bank left. You're off course. Incoming missile. Incoming bandit. Incoming bandit. Incoming missile. Bank right. You're off course. Incoming missile. Okay, so how do I rate this game? Thunderhawk is a joy to play, which comes from the intense action in the game. There's plenty of gameplay in this game, with plenty of variety and so many missions that you'll not get bored quickly. I love the graphics at the time I bought this game, which is mostly taken from the extensive use of the custom sprite chip in the system. And overall, the game runs very smoothly. I'm also pleased to say that the use of full motion video is minor and sensible. The animation was of a high quality for that time and despite all the content loading times, it's not annoying at all. The music fits very well with the action and there is a good variety in the music, not to mention a good application of digital voice sampling. I love the overall atmosphere in this game. Overall, it's a very well-rounded package and I'm going to rate this game 8 out of 10 stars. I was very pleased when I purchased this game from a Mega CD. It's well worth a play, it really is.
Incoming Bandit. Incoming Missile. Incoming bandits. Incoming bandits. Incoming bandit. Incoming missile. Mission complete. Incoming bandits. Incoming missile. Mission complete. Mission complete. Mission complete. Well, there you go folks. That's my short review of the Sega CD Thunderhawk. If you liked this video, then please press the like button. You can also leave a comment. I'll certainly try to get back to you. However, it would be brilliant if you subscribe to my channel and join my gang. See you later guys. Bye-bye.